Hello guys, let's see how we can install WordPress and run it inside of a Docker container. So basically we'll be creating configurations and then we'll be loading them up with uh, Docker Compose. The first thing we would like to do is to create an environment uh, file. Just open your favorite editor. I've chosen Visual Studio Code and uh, we save this file as .env. Here we'll place uh, basically our credentials uh, with which we would like to authenticate uh, inside of the MySQL server we'll be uh, using and inside of WordPress. Uh, the first one will be MySQL root password. Uh, let's say that it will be MySQL root. Then we'll create our user. So it will be MySQL user. Let's say WordPress user and uh, MySQL password, it's WordPress password. Okay guys, after creating our environment file, now we'll actually create the Docker Compose file. So here we save it as a docker compose.yaml file. Now inside we'll start by specifying which kind of version we would like uh, our container uh, to use. Uh, so we can just uh, go to version 3.3 and now we will actually create our services. We will create three containers. One will be for our database where we will be using uh, MySQL. One will be for the WordPress and one for the PHP MyAdmin services. Here for the DB it will be the name of our service. For the image, we will specify that we would like to grab the latest MySQL image. Actually, when we go to our browser, we can go to hubdocker.com and if we type MySQL, uh, we see that uh, we have officially supported uh, image of MySQL. If we go to tags, uh, we can uh, browse the latest one uh, from MySQL. So that's what we are doing uh, here in the code. We are uh, pulling this image from the uh, Docker Hub repository and it's automatically configured for us. Nevertheless, we have to specify environment uh, variables. Um, so we'll specify our environment file uh, by typing env file and we'll type .env, which is the name of the file. Inside of the Docker container, with the name of db will provide additional environmental variables which are not so sensitive uh, such as the mysql database uh, that we would like initially to create um, our service so we will just type environment and here we'll provide uh, mysql database and let's say it will be wordpress the next thing is uh, the volumes that we would like to uh, specify uh, so We'll provide one volume and we'll call it uh, DB data and we'll make it to point to var lib MySQL. We'll be having a one uh, volume which uh, Docker will create and uh, everything that uh, MySQL installs inside of this uh, var lib MySQL directory will be saved uh, inside of uh, this newly created uh, volume. This means that uh, when uh, we restart the container, all the data will be read directly from this uh, uh, persistent volume and uh, um, our uh, data will remain the same as before. So we are here just uh, uh, defining uh, the volume and afterwards we'll create it. One more thing, it's a little bit of a patch. We'll run a command and it will be uh, default authentication plugin equal to MySQL native uh, password. In this way, MySQL will accept uh, username and password as authentication and uh, our service will run uh, normally. Okay, with the DB, we are ready. Now we'll set up another uh, service, uh, which we'll call uh, WordPress. As you can see, the indentation uh, WordPress should uh, fall directly below DB. 
Okay, for the WordPress, we will specify that we would like before starting the WordPress uh, this uh, container DB to be started. Now, or in other words, we will say that uh, the WordPress container depends on the creation of the uh, DB uh, container. So we will type depends on and here we will provide the DB container uh, name. Uh, the next uh, is the image we would like to uh, grab and uh, pull from the repository. So uh, we will grab the WordPress uh, latest. So we'll type image WordPress latest. And for the environment, we'll set up several variables, but let's not forget to include also our environmental file in order to be able to read it. Okay, for the environment, we'll set up the connection to the, our uh, database container. So type uh, WordPress DB host equals to DB. And the DB is the name, as you know, already of uh, this previous service. So Docker will set up everything for us, like the connections and uh, ports. The next thing is to provide the username and the password to be able uh, to log in inside of the WordPress. So we'll type WordPress DB user and we'll grab it from here from the environment. We'll use this variable, MySQL user. We have to place one dollar sign since we are referencing external variables. Okay, now we'll do the same for the password. WordPress uh, DB password equals to MySQL password. And we'll specify the WordPress uh, DB name where our records will be stored and our posts. And it will be just WordPress. Okay, now it's time to set up the volumes almost the same way as before. Uh, we'll create one volume with the name of WordPress. We'll access var vv HTML directory inside of the container. One more thing to notice that uh, this WordPress container actually has inside uh, integrated web server. So in order to browse directly the information within the WordPress, we need to expose some ports. Otherwise, the container will stay uh, enclosed and it will work, but we will not be able uh, to access the web server from outside of the container. So that's why we will specify for ports such settings. This means that uh, for our local port 80 will be redirected to the internal uh, port 80 of the container and whatever is running on this port 80, such as the WordPress uh, installation, will be able to see it by browsing localhost with the port 80. So that's for the port uh, forwarding and uh, this is actually the setup of uh, WordPress. Now we'll set up another uh, service. This will be our PHP MyAdmin. Um, we'll again start with depends on DB. Okay. And now for the image, we'll grab the PHP MyAdmin latest. Okay. Again, the environmental file and some environmental variables. This time it will be uh, the connection with the database, which PHP MyAdmin requires to be set up as a PMA host. And we'll be referencing the database uh, container or database service here. Okay, the next thing is the password for the root account of the MySQL in order to enter as a, a root inside of the PHP My Admin. This is for the setup of the PHP My Admin. So we'll type MySQL root password and we'll grab this MySQL root password uh, here. Okay. And we'll expose also ports. This time we would like port 80 on which uh, PHP My Admin will run to be exposed externally as a port 3333 and that's it's for the configuration of our services and one last thing uh, we need now uh, for all those volumes that we created WordPress and DB data just because they are for now just links to 
information inside of the containers we need to uh, recreate them uh, here or we'll just watch very carefully the indentation it has to be below uh, services and uh, here we'll type volumes and the first one will be WordPress and the next one will be DB data okay that's the file we save the file we have the environmental file and we go to our terminal and we can type docker compose up and as you can see first we're creating uh, networks between the containers uh, so they can exchange data and uh, we're starting with uh, mysql it's pulling different layers or parts of its image directly from the repository and it will be saved later in our uh, docker repository in our machine now it's time uh, for the wordpress installation we are seeing that we're downloading different parts from the image containing different uh, files and later they will be extracted now it's time for the php my admin and now we see the process of creation of uh, containers first we are creating the database container then the php my admin and the wordpress container and afterwards we see that uh, first php my admin is checking inside of the container whether it exists and since uh, we don't have previous installation inside it's copying its uh, information from the image inside of this directory uh, at the same time you see the other container db1 is initializing the initial mysql database and the same is happening with the wordpress it's copying its uh, contents inside of var www uh, html all right uh, the wordpress has been successfully copied and we see several messages connection refused uh, this is because wordpress is trying to connect uh, very early on in our database and the database is not quite yet ready so you should not be afraid about this afterwards we see that the mysql initialization process is taking place the mysql is uh, listening actually on uh, uh, this port uh, 3306 and now we can go to our browser and here uh, we can browse uh, first uh, let's say the wordpress installation and we see that we are inside of the container and we can choose our language click continue choose username and password and choose an email and we can proceed into installing a wordpress At the same time you can see here the information uh, that uh, our web server is uh, telling to us all the connections we are having right now and uh, everything else you can debug Okay, we don't want to change the password, it's just a test installation. So very soon we will be having a ready installation. Okay, we can log in into our WordPress. And as you can see, this is our fully functional WordPress inside of the container. And that's how the front end looks like. You can start using it without any problems. Now for the PHP my admin, if you remember from the configuration, we need to use it this uh, port, a uh, different one in order to load it up. Okay, so with username root and for the password, if you remember, uh, we provided MySQL root password here in our PHP my admin uh, service from the environmental file. So we grab this password MySQL uh, root and provide it here. My SQL root we click on go and we are inside of the PHP my admin and here we can see the WordPress database we can import information and do whatever we like to so basically that's how you do an installation of uh, WordPress inside of uh, a docker container that's it for now guys 
If you like the information, you can subscribe to the channel.